All right, we're still from Indonesia where crude palm oil farmers from Selangit Musirawas, South Sumatra, have expressed frustration with the plunge in the price of fresh fruit bunches or palm fruit. Now, palm fruit has dropped to roughly 1,000 rupiah per kilogram, which is causing heavy losses for farmers. Now, for one CPO farmer from the Tabarana village in Selangit, South Sumatra, he said that previously the selling price of palm fruit was at a range of 2,000 and 900 rupiah per kilogram. The decline in price has been happening for the past three months to the point that they cannot cover operational costs. Many farmers say that the money they make from selling their CPO harvest or their palm fruit harvest is not even enough to cover the cost of buying fertilizers nor pesticides. The farmers are hoping the government will intervene and help raise the selling price to a range of 2,500 to 3,000 rupiah per kilogram. Biaya kita. Untuk biaya itu harga seribu itu. Harga seribu itu tidak tidak itu lagi tidak stabil dengan hmm. perawatannya. Nah, kalau perawatannya dalam tiga bulan kan minimal pokoknya hmm. mencapai empat pikul lima pikul. Nah sekarang kita tidak dapat lagi belinya. Hmm. Hmm. Karena harganya jatuh. Jadi dibiarkan jadi rumput. Iya rumputnya nah. Tak <laughs> baca lagi. Nak beli rancunnya, tak dapat. Jadi yang. I mean, while the Indonesian government are set to build 10 palm oil factories in South Sumatra, which will be managed and operated by local palm oil farmers, the plan comes as the price of raw palm fruit has dropped significantly, causing heavy losses for farmers, as existing factories are also buying less palm fruit due to an oversupply. Back in April 2022, the Indonesian government imposed a ban on palm oil exports in a bid to push cooking oil prices down. Since then, cooking oil prices have successfully fallen, but a new problem has now emerged. As a result of the palm oil export ban, the price of fresh fruit bunches or raw palm fruit has fallen dramatically down below 1,000 rupiah per kilogram due to an oversupply caused by the export ban. This has caused many palm fruit farmers to suffer heavy losses. The oversupply has also meant that crude palm oil or CPO factories are now buying even less palm fruit, dealing even more financial pain for farmers. To solve the problem, the Indonesian government are building 10 CPO factories in South Sumatra. The factories will be built by the Ministry of Cooperatives with funding from the Indonesian Palm Oil Estate Fund and will be managed and operated by palm fruit farmers themselves. The head of the Indonesian Palm Oil Farmers Association for South Sumatra, Slamat Somo Sentono, said that farmers welcome the initiative as it means that palm fruit farmers will be less reliant on privately owned factories and can thus boost their own livelihoods. Nah, tadi ditawari oleh DPP Pusat bahwa siap nak jual menerima 10 unit pabrik dari dana BBDKS, jadi dana ekspor sawit yang diambil, dipungut untuk membentuk PKS-PKS minyak merah di seluruh Indonesia. Jawabannya itu gimana, Pak? Jawabannya siap aja kita. Bisa mendukkan, bisa men apa, mengangkat nilai. Artinya gini, kalau kalau biasanya dalam dua hari, harus satu di dua hari, bisa tiga hari. Karena kita punya pabrik sendiri. The building of 10 CPO factories that will be operated by palm fruit farmers will be built in numerous areas across South Sumatra, including in Muara Enim, Musi Banyuasin, and numerous other areas. Indeed, this marks a positive step forward in Indonesia's palm oil industry, as a number of private palm oil companies had previously been accused of banding together and pushing up the price of cooking oil on purpose.